there's lots of different robots or vehicles that go through air and water, not so much underground. We've been working on these vine robots, which are robots that extend from the tip for a long time. And a professor at Georgia Tech, um, Dr. Daniel Goldman, had reached out to us wondering if we could use these tip extending robots to emulate how a plant root grows. That sort of inspired the idea. Let's try to actually make it grow through sand or soil. So a plant, you know, starts as a seed and then it grows from its tip, you know, getting longer and taller. It also grows in its roots as its roots spread out. Our robot, it starts at the base and then it extends and lengthens in whichever direction you want it to go, like a plant. Basically, the robot is just a uh, long, thin tube of a airtight material. And so what we do is we inflate this tube and now just a long inflated tube puffs up like this. And then what we do is we turn it inside out, kind of like turning a sock inside out. So you can imagine like a snake that slide past things, but a plant, it doesn't, it just grows from the tip. Our robot can grow, we can change shape, we can steer, but moving through the sand is still pretty difficult. We just blow air at the tip of the robot. By blowing the air at the tip, we can loosen up that sand. That makes it significantly easier to move through the sand. The application of the robot with NASA, at least in our robot right now, with using the air, it works really well in dry granular media, which is basically what's in space and everything there is dry. Some potential applications there would be sort of lunar cave exploration or Martian soil sampling. In robotics, you know, classical robotics are sort of what you imagine in um, a lot of sci-fi movies like R2-D2 or something like that. So the soft robot, the advantage of it being soft is it can sort of change its shape to the environment as well as they can interact with other soft things like humans and animals and other living things. They may not be as strong or precise, but they can sort of adapt a little bit better. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.